Hello students, welcome back to our channel. So here in this video, we are going to discuss the topic in RDBMS subject. In RDBMS subject, in second unit, data integrity and normalization is your chapter name. And in this chapter, this is the main important topic that is role of keys or types of keys. If you understand what is mean by keys, then you will easily understand the role of normalization. Of keys and reason, what are the use of everything we will discuss in this video. So now we will discuss the definition of key. What is mean by key? What are the benefits of using that key? We will discuss. So what is the definition of key? Why key is used means it will identify the unique row. From a table. In table, they have row as well as the columns. What key will do means it identify particular row which we want to identify that. For example, in a table, I have the student number, hall ticket number, and uh, name as well as the phone number. If I enter the student hall ticket number, I will get her name or his name, and as well as the I will uh, get her phone number also. So, exception number is the key. So, like this type of key is used to identify particular row, not column, particular row which is which we want the data that it will identify the key. So, this is the use of key, this is the meaning as well as the definition of key. So, what are the types of keys we are having in this subject? There are different types of keys which you are there which we are having to identify particular row. So, we will discuss one by one. The first one is a primary key. The first type of key is a primary key. So, what is mean by primary key? Primary key is a column or set of columns which is uniquely identify a row. For example, if you understand the example, you will get the what is the meaning of primary key. So, section number student name student course okay so in this table student uh, section number means hall ticket number is uh, considered as a primary key if we enter the hall ticket number of the particular student we will get the details of her name or his name and we will get the entire the row details also what he is pursuing, which course he is pursuing, how much marks he got, everything we will get to know by entering your hall ticket number. So, hall ticket number is considered as the primary key which is identifying the rows in a table. Okay. So, this is about the primary key. Next, you are having the foreign key. So, foreign key is used to define relationship between two tables if you want to make and implement a relationship between two tables then we will use the foreign key for example here employee id employee name age department id department id department name in, for example if the employee id in one and uh, a age is uh, 30 years and department id is 101 Okay, if we enter employee ID, we will get uh, his or her name, we will get their age and we will get their what department it is. But if we enter employee ID, in which sector he is working, we can't get that row. If we enter the department ID only, we will get in which department he or she is working. If you enter your subject code only, you will get your subject name. Right. If you, if I say your name, if I enter your name, you will not, I will not at all get your name. Right. If I enter the employee ID, I will get all these details. But if I enter the department ID, I will get this department name. If, if, if it is department ID is 101, department name is marketing, 102, digital marketing. Like this, there are different sectors in a company. So, in this department ID, if we enter department ID only, then we will get the department name. Then we are using the relationship between two tables. Here also department ID is getting, here also department ID is getting. Then we should use the foreign key. So 
so this is the foreign key department id is the foreign key okay primary key is employee id foreign key is department id have you understanding so next we will discuss about the super key so super key is a group for single or multiple ways to identify a row in a table means you will have the single or multiple ways to identify a row in a table for example employee id employee name cell department these are all the super keys right so means you are having the employee id employee name employee mobile number and the department id these are all the super keys because if we enter the employee id we will get her name if we enter the name we will get the uh, employee id number as well as the cell number if we enter mobile number then we will get whose number it is and if we enter the department id then also we will get the whose number it is so these are all the related to super keys super keys is nothing but uh, having uh, more than one way to identify a row in a table okay if we enter the employee id we will get the name if we enter the mobile number also we will get the employee name right so these are all the super keys super keys means having the multiple ways to identify a row in a table is called as super key so next you are having the fourth is candidate key okay so a candidate key is having a minimum n number of columns or attributes to identify a particular row you are having minimum number of columns to identify a single row okay you are having for example student id student name student phone number and student age student phone number will be considered as a candidate key because why it will candidate be if we enter the student id we will get the phone number if we enter the student name then also we will get her phone number right so for to identify a single row we are having the multiple attributes multiple columns we are having to identify a single row is known as candidate key candidate key uh, in a table there can be a more than one candidate key if they ask two marks what is meant by candidate key then you should write having minimum n number of columns to identify a particular row so here to identify a particular row we are, if we enter the student id then we will get her phone number if we enter the student name also then also we will get the phone number so it is considered as the candidate key so now fifth one you are having the composite key okay so what is mean by composite key having more than one attribute to identify a particular record to particular row okay so for example here student id student name course and marks okay course id and marks okay see i enter student id i will get the student name but if i want the marks then i should enter the course in your hall ticket number also it's a 12 digit hall ticket number so for example 11862040 so suppose this is your hall ticket number this four digits is your college code and the this 20 is the year okay and this 40 is the course id of bcom students okay for bsc there will be a 50 and this is your four digits hall ticket number by if you are entering uh, your hall ticket number to get your results you are entering along with the course id here also to identify the marks you should get to know the student hall ticket number student id number as well as the course id number then only you will get the marks okay for example if a student is learning java as well as the uh, sql in the same institution and in java he got 100 marks in sql he got 98 marks and the student is 11 okay same student is studying both the courses in a institution if we want to get this marks then we need to enter the student id as well as the java course id also then only we will get the java marks if you want the sql marks then you should enter the student id as well as the sql 
code number then only you will get this number so having a more than one attribute to identify particular column particular row that is known as composite key okay i think you have understood and the last one you are having is alternate key alternate key is nothing but having a primary key as well as the alternate key to identify particular column okay so particular row sorry so here student id course id student name course mark if i entered the student id i will get the name okay but if i entered the course id only then i will ent uh, i will get the course marks so student id is considered as a primary key and course id is considered as a alternate key so alternate key is nothing but having more than one number of attribute to identify a particular row so this is all about the alternate key so types of key is primary key foreign key super key candidate key composite key and alternative key these are the six types of keys you are having in your rdbms subject if you understand this key points only uh, then you will get the normalization topic in a very easy way so this is all about the video if you like this video then like share and subscribe to my channel and share with all your friends and family members if you required this video it's a useful video okay in upcoming videos we will discuss the normalization topic see you all in the next video bye bye